our work is always informed by photography and it, and by our family albums. I think. I mean, I, my family had, you know, five thousand slides that we reviewed over and over as children. You know, and and so that kind of uh, um, got me into just having those kinds of memories. And I spent a lot of time with them a, a while back, and uh, and did things like I painted the images that I saw. I'd work with the with the idea they have a strong memory and then paint it. And so my work in photography moved to painting uh, quite quickly, self-portraits and such. And I find that our work is, my work, is always translating something from the past to the present, or at least at this time it was. Uh, a newer kind of thing that I did was uh, I got, had a photo of myself on a hill and then painted it, you know, so that it wasn't, mixed media photography at that point, but uh, I had done mixed media photography prior to that and then again after. So uh, years ago, this is Dalhousie being built and uh, I used the camera to explore all of that at that time. This is a, a photograph that I've drawn on and, and bleached over with ink and so it, it's a very um, um, loose photograph now. There's little elements of the photo left here. I'd work on, at that time, mural paper. I'd get, I'd photograph, I'd have the photograph printed up, and I'd do it myself actually, and then, and then start working on it, tape it down on a board and treat it like a, a, a watercolor, I guess. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by mixed media photography? <coughs> uh, just using other materials like pe pencils and paint and wa uh, watercolor or any, any kind of material, like a physically manipulating the photograph rather than doing it on Photoshop, which is another way of manipulating the photo, right? That was uh, downtown. So in that time of my life, I was really looking at the world through my camera and looking at my community and my environment through my camera and then taking it further and making it more personal, uh, my feeling at the time, right? Uh, how I felt as a young mom, you know, wandering through Walmart at that time, Wolko. And myself in my house, hiding behind my door. You know, it was very personal, very autobiographical, quite a long time ago. Then a bit later, I started working on very large pieces. This would be about uh, seven feet long and five feet wide, big pieces of mural paper. And uh, I set up the camera and took photos of myself and then made these very large enlargements and then painted over top of them. So they, there were about uh, 13 of those that basically just looked at identity. Who am I? The earlier work was who am I in my world and then this was more who am I. Sometime later, I went back to school and uh, did a series of straight photography about a woman and her life in her home. And I related to that on a personal level too. She was an older woman who somehow lost herself in her home and, uh, and didn't do anything outside it for, for herself in her life. And I, I liked that idea and, and I photographed her a great deal, like hundreds of photographs of her in her life. Sometime later, I've traveled, and this is sometime later, more recently. I went to uh, South America and I watched this parade of the calls and I got completely involved in it. it. It felt more like, I, I felt very much connected to these people that were marching, these hordes of drummers. And I spent some time painting them, the drummers, and then I realized that some of the photographs that I took couldn't be translated into paintings. I had some beautiful images of blurry people and, and uh, I, I really enjoyed those images and I did paint them but more and more I found that I needed the photograph back in my work. I couldn't quite get that to happen with paint and so the photograph became important to me again. There's starting to be a lot of movement. I love the lights and the flags. I felt connected to these people. The streets were, it was an evening parade, and the streets were lined with people. The sound of the drums wa was overwhelming. It vibrated off the walls where I was watching. I was a bit 
up high looking down. It felt like they were just clearing the air in some way, and I really, really enjoyed that. In fact, they did have certain characters that were chasing away spirits and such. I really like that. The photographs were um, kind of rough sometimes. My camera was broken. I borrowed another one. It didn't matter. I still wa got what I wanted. This ended up to be a very large piece, and then, and then I stopped uh, painting that series. <laughs>